y'all. Time to grab your favorite footwear and get ready to go for a spin, yeah? You show us your best steps, but not on the hardwood, in the sand. Dipsy do. On the AVP Tour this year, everybody has tried everything to beat, yeah, these guys. The kings of the beach. Hasn't worked. Brian Steffes have won six out of seven. Today, the help wanted sign is out. Can anybody crown the kings of the beach? We'll find out. We're high stepping in Dallas, Texas. Hey, how about them cowboys? How about them cowboys? presents the Miller Lite AVP Tour today from newly created Crescent Beach here in Dallas, Texas. It's the Nesty Open at Dallas. Hello again, everybody, and welcome. I'm Chris Marlowe. How do you get a beach in Dallas, Texas? First, you go find 900 tons of sand. When you find it, you send out 40 dump trucks. They pick it up, they come in front of the Crescent Hotel up there, they take the sand, put it on the court, and the pros show up. What do you do next? The great thing about it, it's recyclable. We'll be able to use it again next year. Now, happy to have working with me. No, he's not as tall, but he's better looking. John Stevenson, he won 23 Opens in his career. Paul Sunderland is on assignment, but Sunderland asked me to ask you, and to tell you that you have some big shoes to fill. Well, you guys are the greatest, and I'm not worthy. I'm not worthy. But isn't it better having a partner that knew how to dig the ball? And, his and I like someone that I can look down upon. Let's talk about the tour. Is it good to have a super team like Karch and Kent? Well, I think it cuts both ways because for a growing sport like beach volleyball, you have to have names that people can hook on to. At a certain point, though, when they become too dominant, it's a replay of the same thing. So you got to have a team that can come in and challenge them. All right, Tarch and Ken, we'll see them a little later in our final, but our semifinal is going to be a good one. Mike Dodd and Mike Whitmarsh, one of the teams. This is a team that plays well every week. They've been very consistent. They're second in the rankings right now for this 1994 year. They are the team that matches up the best against Karch and Kent. They're, in a, they're heavily favored in this match. They need to get through it and be ready for the finals. And the team they're playing against upset Johnson and Stokos, a team that's on a roll. Wes Welch and Troy Tanner. This team has been awesome so far. Well, Tanner is on fire. He's almost to the finals two weeks ago. Last week, he's 13th place with Hovland. They just kicked Stoklos' butt out there on court three. You don't know what to expect from this team. All right. One thing you know, there is a lot of money being given away every week by Miller Lite Beer. $750,000 in the Miller Lite Cup. Right now, cards and can't. They're a cinch. Well, they're sitting pretty right now. Dodd and Dodd Whitmarsh are on their tail, and they need to stay close to them. After that, Randy, uh, Randy and Adam took a fourth or a fifth today. They've fallen back a little bit. That hurts them. All right. The crowd is revved up. We are ready to go. Semi-final action. Welch and Tanner, can they pull the upset on Mike Dodd and Mike Whitmarsh? We'll find out. AVP Volleyball is brought to you by Nest Tea. Why get just a little bit wet? Plunge into Nest Tea. By Miller Lite, great taste, less filling. Can your beer do this? By Paul Mitchell Salon, hair care, cruelty free. By the real Paul Mitchell and salons only. By 1-800-COLLECT, America's inexpensive way to call collect. Use it every time you make a long distance call. By Killaloo Performance, sunglasses by Bausch & Long, tested by athletes, not machines. And by Southwest Airlines, it's just plain smart. Calling collect. You've got options. You can dial zero like this guy. Hi, Mommy. I rode on the plane all by myself. Did I mention you'll be charged as much as you possibly can for this call? Or you can dial 1-800-COLLECT. Here's how it works. Dial 1-800-COLLECT. Yeah, I just saved you some cash. You're welcome. Love you. Called Mom Collect, huh? You know, you could have saved her for 44% by dialing 1-800-COLLECT. Can you find it in your heart to forgive me?
just to get beached. Into the pure, clean taste. Ever since Southwest Airlines introduced Friends Fly 3, people have gotten friendlier. Sugar Plum, your favorite pillow. If you make reservations and buy your round-trip ticket at our regular low, unrestricted fare, a friend gets to fly with you. Free. Hey, Dad, seen the head trimmer? There's no advance purchase and tickets are fully refundable. Here's that putter I borrowed last year, old oh, buddy. Southwest Airlines Friends Fly Free. It's great for your pocketbook and your popularity. We are set and ready to go here on the AVP Miller Lite Tour. Mike Dodd, Mike Whitmarsh, Troy Tanner, and Wes Welch. Mike Dodd has the serve. One to nothing, Dodd and Whitmarsh get the first point. And Troy Tanner loops over the top and down. So the side out. So here's Wes Welch. Wes Welch is an excellent volleyball player. He's 34 years old. Not having a very good year as Whitmarsh pounds it through. Talk about Dodd and Whitmarsh as a team first. Well, right now, Dodd and Whitmarsh are so heavily favored in this match. It's ridiculous. Uh, Welch and Tanner upset Stokelos and Johnson to get here. Welch has been serving BBs all day. Really, Whitmarsh is thinking, please get me through this match and to the final in somewhat decent shape so I can challenge Karch. Karch Karai and Kent Steves in our championship final. We will see them a little bit later. Troy Tanner will serve. And Dodd hits it out of bounds. One, one now. Tanner and Welch score their first point. Troy Tanner is 30 years old. Came out of Pepperdine University. He's won $14,000 so far this year. And over $112,000 in his career. Hasn't been on the tour long. Just his second year. And he's into the net. How tired are Tanner and Welch? I think they're probably a little emotionally tired. I don't know how physically tired they are. Tanner is a player to, that's definitely on the rise. There's a guy who was a point away from the finals in Jacksonville two weeks ago, played with Hovland last week, got a 13th, very disappointing finish. Now he has Welch, who hasn't been to third, I, I don't know how long, if ever. And so Tanner must be doing a lot of things right right now. Welch, uh, a couple of 17ths, a 13th, three ninths, and a 7th this year. 7th is the best he's done, so this is his best tournament. Mike, Mike, Mike. Dodd. Mike Dodd puts it away. And the side out. So far, Whitmarsh and Dodd, a third, a second. They won in Fort Myers, fourth in Miami, third in Clearwater, took a fifth in Jacksonville last week, second to Karch and Kent. Tanner, and Tanner hits it straight down. It appears that Tanner is getting better each week. He's been switching around with partners. He's in demand. Definitely. It was a surprise last week when he and Hovland did so poorly. Hovland sitting out this week, taking a little bit of breather from the tour. But he is definitely getting better. 1-1 one, one is our score. Semi-final action. Here's Dodd, and he's dug by Tanner. Tanner looking for a put away. And Dodd digs it right back. Big West Welch, Dodd, another spectacular dig. Oh, and he puts it away. So Dodd been putting on his digging clinic early in this semifinal match here in the SD. Watched the tournament last week and heard you guys commenting on Dodd's court knowledge and where he is. He's always in the right place at the right time. It's important with a guy like Whitmarsh. You know, he Whitmarsh is certainly the, the most intimidating blocker on the beach right now, but Dodd gets everything out of him that he possibly can. Mike Dodd looking to become a beach volleyball's newest million-dollar man. He needs just $3,000 in prize money. He's going to get it this week as Tanner zips one through. 
And here goes the ball to Wes Welch. One game to 15. Big West has never won an open tournament. He got a third in 91 in Houston with Mark Eller. That was his highest finish that year, and he whips up the ace. What has been Welch's problem? Looks like he has all the physical tools, big, strong, jump serves, hits well. Just very inconsistent as a player. I played with him one time in the Manhattan Open. We, yeah, I see we, that on here. That's a 25th for Stevenson <laughs> it wasn't and Welch. A, it was not a pretty sight. We practiced real well. We were beating everyone down at uh, San Onofre practicing during the week, and we came out, and we just stunk. And I... Really, Wes Welch is a guy who's got to play big. He's got to serve, jump serves, BBs at these guys. He doesn't do it all the time. So far, he's doing it in this one. It's 3-1, to one, Welch and Tanner. You're wondering about Welch. He's 6'5", 200 pounds, out of the University of Southern California. And working on Dodd. Welch has it up, and Tanner pokes it over. So far, good action. Here comes Mike Dodd. Another dig by Welch. He's all over the place. Now Whitmarsh trying to terminate, and he does. Back to the left side by Mike Whitmarsh. But what a great defensive effort in the back row by Wes Welch. Welch with two excellent digs. But How about Welch's defense? Yeah, he's, he's not known, obviously, for his backcourt defense. A guy like that is playing career out of his mind right now, digging balls like that. That's the kind of rally that Whitmarsh and Dodd do not need. They're just going to be tired out. and You know, they figure to win this match, heavily favored, as I said. They can't afford to go a long time here. So Mike Dodd will serve. He's 36 years old, 13 years a pro, $997,492 in prize money. And they're going to Tanner. And Tanner chops it inside. So Troy Tanner, one of the up-and-coming young stars on the AVP Tour. We should say up-and-coming young stars. He's 30 years old, but that's relatively young on the tour right now. Well, we've got a, a pretty old tour, actually. Troy Tanner's been around the block. He's played at a top level collegiately, then internationally, played on the national team. He's come to the beach pretty late, though. He'll serve it over to Whitmarsh. It's 3-1 to one, Tanner and Welch. And Tanner has the dig. Tanner on the left. And Tanner smokes it. So Tanner and Welch are hot. Out of the gate quickly. We'll be coming back to Dallas, Texas. Tanner and Welch four. Come on out to the track where means get paid. Go Greyhound Park. The place to play. This week, come out and play in air-conditioned comfort at the World Showcase Greyhound Racetrack. And Saturday night, bet on the best as the males take on the females in a battle of the sexes in the finals of Nepa's King and Queen Classic. Be there! Come out to the track. Greyhound! The place to play! Greyhound Park! Yeah! Did you know the new federal cable TV regulations give you more service options if you have a problem with your cable service? You can either do the repairs yourself or pay someone else. Our ATCI service technician can repair the problem and we will bill you using our hourly service charge. Or you can choose the easiest new alternative. TCI's Inside Wiring Maintenance Program is just 49 cents a month. In-home service costs are covered under this plan without additional charge. Just give us a call. We'll take care of the rest. Call TCI Cablevision for complete Inside Wire Maintenance Program details. At 592-1222 now. Check out SEC Baseball for plenty of RBIs, ERA, SB, K, and HR. So watch ASAP, okay? Mississippi State and LSU, Friday night at 7, live on HSE. Back at Crescent Beach, they call it. They dump 900 tons of sand here. And right now, Wes Welch is king of that 900. Gives the bump set to Tanner, and Tanner goes over the top and down. Welch and Tanner, they are killing Whitmarsh and Dodd right now, 7-1. to one. You know, Whitmarsh and Dodd probably came out a little sluggishly. Now they're at a danger point. If they get any more points, yeah. They expect, you know, you expect them to maybe start a little slow in a match yeah. like this, but now they've got to really turn it on. They're going in reverse right now. Dodd shanking the ball all over the place, and that's going to cost him another point. So Welch and Tanner, I believe it's only their first tournament ever together. Last week, Wes Welch played with Andrew Smith and finished ninth. Last week, Troy Tanner played with Tim Hovland. They were so bad that Hovland went to the Kentucky Derby and never came back. Take one more look at Wes Welch cranking. 
Got a guaranteed third. Great finish for him. Played with Mark Eller, I think it was about four years ago, when he finished third in, uh, in uh, Houston. That was in the parking lot at the Astrodome. Did you talk to Tim Hovland this week? What's the story with him? I did. He was, uh, he, he was just in need of a little bit of rest. Yeah. You know, he's just tired from the... I think the partner switch with Eric Pinoy Moana was maybe a little bit of a mistake. I, I talked to him after Jacksonville. Hovland, who loves the center court and loves the attention, was called up in the player tent, heard that he was playing Timmons, and he said, change it, get me on the outside court. Wow. 8-1 is our score. Still plenty of time, just under seven minutes to go. Wes Welch and Troy Tanner. This is an unbelievable shellacking right now. It's not that Don Whitmarsh are playing so bad. It's just Tanner and Welch are at another level. Whether they can keep that up remains to be seen. Right, and the match that comes to mind is Jacksonville when Verbalovich and Tanner were up 11-1 against Stoklos and uh, Adam Johnson and ended up losing that match. They'll try Wes Welch, and Wes Welch cranks it. Once again, let's run over Welch this year. He played in the Evian qualifier, got a ninth, did not play at Madison Square Garden, all with Andrew Smith, a 13th, a ninth, a 17th, a 7th, a 17th, and a ninth. And today he's got third. And he's winning with Tanner in our semifinal. If you look at that at that record, Chris, the one indication that he really is competing at a pretty high level is the seventh at Clearwater, which means he qualified to exactly. serve a gold crown. You know, 1991 sounds like a long time ago, but in 1991, Wes Welch, at the age of 32, was the AVP Rookie of the Year. So uh, a lot of people think and thought that... Wes Welch had a lot of talent. He's showing some of that today. Boy, he's really making Dodd and Whitmarsh jump for that serve. Dodd, Welch has the dig. Chance for a point if Tanner can help him. Good set. And Welch puts it away again. He's on fire. Wes Welch and a beautiful set from Tanner. It is now 9-1. Maybe comeback player of the year now. So destruction going on in our semifinal. 6.34 to play. Welch and Tanner, nine. Dodd and Whitmarsh, uno. Hey, gourmet cooking. Welcome. Put the wrestling back on. Gourmet cooking. Let's watch both. Noodle. Miller presents gourmet wrestling. They are cooking now, Bob. Here's the flip. Whip. Brought to you by Miller Lite. If you can combine great taste and less filling, you can combine anything. Stick a in. He's done. What a pen. What a beer. Great taste, less filling. Can you really do this? Air. Air that is free-flowing, like the sea. Living in harmony with light. Dancing in its shadows. Fit. Vibrant hair, nourished and cared for by the elements of our earth. This is Paul Mitchell hair. Remember, buy the real Paul Mitchell products in salons only. If Mike was here right now, he'd want to be like me, because I'm the man. Yeah, you the man. Ah, don't do ah. my house. He'd be serving me. Hey, I play for that Gatorade. I'm down. Gatorade, the one, the one with the minerals, the minerals and energy, the energy and the fluids are slamming the thirst, the thirst inside of me. Gatorade, thirst, quench, you gotta get me some. Oh! Where's my Gatorade? <laughs> nothing slams a deep down body thirst better than Gatorade. Absolutely nothing. How about some ball? Oh, I can play this game. Oh, we can't play that game. When you call collect, what are you doing? You're asking for acceptance. Not the time to be inconsiderate and not the time to dial zero. Hi, lover. If I really cared about you, I would have dialed 1-800-COLLECT and saved you up to 44%. But I don't, so I didn't. I'm naughty. Collect the boyfriend, huh? He refused my call. No. He pretended he didn't even know me. And hey, baby, where's the fire? Back at the Nestle Dallas Open, Chris Marlowe and John Stevenson. Time now for a tip on the beach. Dan Verbalovich talks about setting. Yes, setting from Verbi. Let's get right to it. We're talking about setting. A lot of people come out and watch the pros set. They see some really sweet sets going up. 
They think that they have to catch the ball and bring it down in order to achieve a real soft set. What we do is we keep real soft and supple on the wrists, and we're always pushing up through the ball. It's not a catch. It's just soft in the wrists. Players to watch, Akatebi, Brohoff, Robolovich, Stoklos. Players not to watch, Marlowe, Sunderland, Hovland. That's it. And you can add John Stevenson, old lobster paws, to that list. <laughs> of course, you did say that you got every serve when you played, uh, almost the same scenario when I played. But All right. when, when I did deliver, it was gold, Chris. Absolutely, you did. Your touch got a lot better when you got a little older, I think. Got a little more setting uh, glove work. 9-1 is our score. Wes Welch with no shirt. And Troy oh, Tanner doing their thing. Chris, does this remind you of Jacksonville a few weeks ago? Rubalovich and Tanner up 11-1 against Stoklos and Johnson. Now it's 10-1. Remember, Stoklos and Johnson came all the way back to win that, although I don't see the same spark from Dodd and Whitmarsh right now. This Welch and Tanner team playing flawless volleyball. Little tail, oh, and Welch missed it. He dove. It was almost a pancake maneuver. He had the spatula out there, but he overran the flapjack. And when a, when a team like, like uh, Welch and Tanner are making these great plays, play after play, you almost got to hope that they continue to do it throughout the entire match because one little sputter might, might uh, mean the end of it. That was off Welch's head, and that's going to be a point. So finally, Whitmarsh and Dodd score their second point. The big block of Mike Whitmarsh. Pretty good effort. Give the stuff block to Whitmarsh, just his first block. Score down. Whitmarsh eight. hasn't had a chance to block any balls. They've been losing points like uh, it's going out of style. 22nd timeout to Troy Tanner and Wes Welch. So Tanner and Welch have a big lead, 10-2. to two. Once again, coming up, Karch Karai and Kent Steffes. They have played very, very well. They also got a break when Brian Lewis injured his knee, diving for a ball. And so he had to forfeit out. So Lewis and Ludies had to forfeit out of the semifinals and out of the tournament. You look quickly at the seedings. Karai, Dodd, Johnson, and Lewis, the top four. As we get back to the action, and Wes Welch, he's dug by Dodd. Dodd chance for a point, and he gets it. So maybe getting a little momentum. And I think Dodd and Whitmarsh have confidence that they can come back because they've done it before. Just a matter of when they kick in in gear. You know, on the transition hit, the one thing you want to know on that is he's all, Mike Dodd's so smart, he's going to hit that transition ball to Wes Welch, who's not as strong a digger. Serving Welch, and Welch, maybe a little winded, John, from a lot of digs, a lot of chasing, and a lot of play today in the consolation bracket. Probably a little bit excited about being up to 10-1, uh, too. Suddenly, it's 10-4. And Welch struggling just a little bit as he cranks it through. So the team of Welch and Tanner have the ball. And here is Tanner. Just under six minutes to go. Lots of time for Dodd and Whitmarsh to come back. Serving Dodd. And putting it through was Dodd. Pretty good save by Big Whitmarsh. You know, Dodd and Whitmarsh, both of them are not moving their feet very well in the serve. A lot of those first few serves were tough serves, BBs, but a couple of them aren't that tough, and they should be passing the ball a little better. Serve it over to Welch. Welch has got a shirt off now, and he pounds it through Dodd. So Dodd's in the right spot. He's digging most of those plays. He missed that one and a side out. So Wes Welch to serve it up. Big Wes, uh, living in San Clemente, California, trains in Capistrano Beach. Really an outgoing guy, loves the ocean. They whip it over to Dodd, and Dodd takes it on two. Now, if during this phase of the game, Dodd and Whitmarsh start siding out steadily, I think, uh, you'll, I think you'll see the tide turn a little bit. So Mike Whitmarsh didn't play well last week. He said, I felt like I was kind of dragging along in Atlanta. And down the hatch goes Wes Welch. Let's check Wes Welch, his fifth kill. Tanner has eight, Whitmarsh three, and Dodd seven. That's an interesting matchup going at Wes Welch because he hits the ball only. Right. He does not have the shots, and you got Whitmarsh, who's the best blocker on the beach. 
and Dodd, who's a phenomenal position digger. So Jansen's uh, Troy Tanner with the spinner. And he's got another ace. So Tanner and Welch. The third ace. One by Tanner, two by Welch. 11 to 4 when we come back. Did you know that ordinary pillows can cause restless sleep in addition to neck, shoulder, and back pain? Introducing a better way to a good night's sleep. The Orthotech pillow is designed to cushion and support the entire length of your neck so that tired, aching muscles can properly relax. Ordinary pillows don't support your neck, causing muscle tension, aches, stiffness, and even... Research has demonstrated that the air is an effective carbohydrate. No other beverage has been proven more effective than Gatorade. And consuming Gatorade during exercise has been shown to absorb 30% faster than water. Gatorade contains the optimal balance of carbohydrates and water. No other beverage has been proven more effective at replacing nothing as much as your deep down body thirst better. Scientifically tested, athletically proven, only Gatorade Thirst Quencher is liquid technology for that deep down body thirst. Come out to play! Not one of these guys has a single gray hair. Is it by chance or is it by choice? New Clairol Men's Choice. It's a technological breakthrough. A new way to blend away the gray that's so natural looking, no one can tell you did it. New Clairol Men's Choice is an easy to use gel, not a messy liquid, and it works in just five minutes without changing your natural hair color. No gray hair, and it looks so natural. Is it by chance or is it by choice? New Clairol Men's Choice. What's new, Houston? New look, new division. New attitude. It's a whole new bargain. Dusty's boys leave the fog, but bring with them Mr. MVP, while the Astros are ready to flex their muscle. Then did he hit it? Whoa! San Francisco and Houston. The series begins Monday at 7, live on HSE. This is the Nestle Dallas Open. I'm Chris Marlowe, my partner John Stevenson. Paul Sunderland on assignment this week. Troy Tanner serving his team. Tanner and Welch bombing Whitmarsh and Dodd right now, 11 to 4. Tanner and Welch have been unbelievable. Digging, blocking, hitting, serving, you name it. Dodd and Whitmarsh playing a little better now. But they trail by seven big points with 5.30 remaining in the game. It's been a horse race so far. I don't see the clock coming out the way these play, teams play. Mike Dodd will serve. 54 career titles. He won with Tim Hovland. There goes Welch. He hits and he's blocked. And Dodd, score down five, serving 11. One more look at a big wit block, Johnny. Like we talked about, the big matchup, Welch is coming with heat. Whitmarsh is going to get over the net, and now he's, uh, he's turned a few blocks on. Back to Tanner, and a good shot by Tanner. That's a very good strategy. I'm sure you used it when you were playing. If you're off the net, hit at the big guy, hit at his neck. He's not as able a digger. Probably not as good a digger as Mike Dodd, safe to say. On that play, why, after Wes Welch just got stuff blocked, do you go serve Troy Tanner? That's my question. 11 to 5, Tanner and Welch trying to get into the finals. And the jump serve not quite as effective now as Dodd and Whitmarsh trying to put the pressure on the, well, I can't say the young team of Welch and Tanner, but the new team today, the surprise team of the tournament by far. Welch, Dodd is there, looking for a point. And he guides it down the line. And now it is 11 to 6. You see Welch going to a shot now. It's definitely not his forte. He's looking for something that's going to work after being blocked five times in a row. So Whitmar's starting to get to Welch just a bit. And not that time as Wes Welch rams it home. Seven kills for Welch. And now Troy Tanner will put the ball in play. Tanner played with Pat Powers. The Evian indoor didn't qualify. Changed up, went to Verbalovich for five tournaments. And then Tim Hovland last week. How would you like to be known? Troy Tanner is the guy that put Tim Hovland into retirement. <laughs> well, I remember last year, my last tournament, I played with the Hov down in Fort Worth. And we were playing for 
to play to get back to Sunday. He said, I have never lost on the first day of the tournament. Ace by Don! Yeah, there's always a first time for everything, isn't there? Of course. Welch and Tanner, they have used a sand timeout. Might be wise to use a regular timeout. Welch with high heat. Howitzer spiked from the left side by Wes Welch. And Wes with a heater in the top and corner. From and now Welch, Welch will serve. Wait a wait a wait a 11 to 7, Welch Tanner and Welch led at 1 point, 10 1. Dodd blocked by Tanner. Big play. I think this team really needs the, Tan the Tanner Welch team needs Troy Tanner to assert himself here at the end of the game. Wes Welch has not been in this situation. He's three points away from getting the finals of the tournament. 12 7 now. And the lob shot, it's out of bounds. And Wes Welch is getting closer, along with Troy Tanner. Tanner's never been in the finals either. Timeout is called 13 to 7. Tanner and Welch, two points away. Welch and Tanner, 13. Sir, hello. Do you think there will ever be an airline that's on time, has great customer service, and still charges low fares? Sure, when whales fly. Southwest Airlines. It's just plain smart. Frequent flyers on most airlines are thousands of miles from a free trip. But on Southwest Airlines, our company club frequent flyer members are only eight short round trips away. Southwest Airlines Company Club. The shortest route to free trips. and have your own Rockets playoff party with Rocket Vision on Special Order Sports. Don't be left out. Call your local cable company to see Houston take it to the next level. The pressure, the intensity, it's pure adrenaline when Hakeem and company make a run at the title. The excitement never stops with Rocket Vision on Special Order Sports. Call your local cable company today to order Rocket Vision on Special Order Sports. Attention college baseball fans. Now's your chance to pick the college player of the year and national all-star team. Plus, win a trip for two to the finals in Omaha. The Smith Series giveaway. To make your picks and enter the giveaway, call 1-900-976-VOTE or mail your info to this address. Remember, a portion of the proceeds go to help the kids at Texas Children's Hospital. Don't forget to catch the winners on the Smith Awards Banquet. June 23rd on your prime affiliate. Call 1-900-976-VOTE and help us go to bat for kids. Back at the Nesky Dallas Open, Mike Dodd, uh, certainly uh, one of the greatest players of all time. You grew up with him. You've been best friends with him for a long time. What makes him tick? We got our AAA together in 1980, second the world champions. Uh, Mike Dodd is just a solid guy. He's the Place most professional the guy I know as far as how he go, goes about preparing to play on this tour. He's solid. He takes care of himself physically. He's got a huge monkey up there blocking for him, and he's the smartest, he's the best anticipating defender right now on the tour. And right now, his team trailing by six, a big moment in the careers of Wes Welch and Troy Tanner. They are just two points away from advancing into the finals for the first time ever. Mike Dodd, Mike Whitmarsh, obviously big game hunters, they are old hats at getting into the final. Dodd and Whitmarsh uh, this year have already been in three finals. Here's Welch. Off the top, Dodd is coming. And Whitmarsh gets a tap. Whitmarsh and Dodd, although I feel pretty good if I'm Tanner and Welch right now because I'm on the good side. If they can stop him here one or two points, they can get points on that side, don't you think? Especially with Wes Welch's jump serve. There's a breath of wind. It probably will affect the serve a little bit. They can be aggressive with it. 
Welch sizzles the pitch cross court. Get out the right guard for Whitmarsh there. That one went right by, raising some hair temperature. I'd like to see this, Westwell hitting with confidence at a tight point in the match. He's got to really do that. you got to dance with what brung you, right, Chris? Well, I guess so, if you want to use that cliche, Johnny. <laughs> Here it comes to Welch, and he taps it down. So that could do it. Wes Welch is jacked. So is Troy Tanner, one point away from advancing into the finals against Karai and Stephens. Well, even Marlo or Stevenson could have put that one away. Here it is, game point. Tanner got a pretty good pass. And Tanner back over the net. Whitmarsh, whip it. High five, Mike Whitmarsh. The Whitmarsh field goal. Troy Tanner, last week with his partner, Dan Verbalovich, or two weeks ago, we should say, let's repeat, was up 11 to 1 to Stoke Close and Johnson. If Tanner and Welch were to blow this one, Tanner might have to go to the Harry Carey suicide route. Because they have had a big lead and have played superbly. Maybe, maybe a little psycho analysis yeah. or something, but he's awfully close. I got a little bit of feeling for him on this in this match here. 14 to 8, second game point. Welch. This could be it. Going to be an off play. Tanner and Welch. Come on, oh, Welch has the dig. Can he put it away? Not yet. Dodd was there. Pops it straight up. Witty with a set. And it's on the line. Dodd and Dodd man with a key dig and put away and save the game. Just out of curiosity, Dodd is chairman of the board of the AVP. You're president of the AVP. Who gives who orders? Well, what, the way it works, really, I'm more in a liaison between the player and the, the player side of it. Who gives who orders? This is what I want to know. It depends. We work together. We are a partnership. We work together. Actually, Mike in his role as a board, uh, board of director does not have a day-to-day -day influence. So really, the guy that gives the orders is our executive director, Jeff Dane. Whitmarsh uh, getting on to Jim Arico to quiet down while they make their comeback. And Dodd has the dig. Looking for a point. And getting it. I would say if Dodd and Whitmarsh would switch sides at 14-11, they got a chance. Obviously, if they don't, they're done. The tenth point is gonna is gonna be uh, a little bit scary for Tanner. The eleventh, you start breaking out the starch and the collar, stiff collar. Welch and Tanner trying to hang it. Welch hits it out of bounds. The left side by Wes Welch is long. That's the point right there. Definitely a tight hit. According to our stats, unofficially, Tanner and Welch have two timeouts remaining. See, Welch is going to wipe off his sunglasses and they take a 20 second timeout. So Tanner in charge of the timeouts at the moment. It's 10 serving 14. Whitmarsh and Dodd trying to come back and get into the final. One more time. There of course, uh, this is a brand new site on the ABP Tour. Dallas, Texas, and certainly Marquee very hospitable. Once again, that's the title sponsor this week and doing a fine job of organizing this particular tournament. Let's get back to the action. Whitmarsh with the serve. Welch got it through. Wow, Whitmarsh just missed that. Mike Whitmarsh. After that out hit by West Welch, that's a big side out. So Welch will serve now. Third chance at game point. 14 to 10. And Welch is so pumped, he forgets that it's Tanner serve. So Tanner will serve. For the game right here. Big shot, Tanner, no! Would you be serving Dodd? I probably would be going to Whitmarsh, although they made a, the right play call. They actually just did not execute. They made the right play, dropped, and could not pick up the shot. I think if you got a, a jump serve, a strong one, you're more likely to get an ace or a shank off Whitmarsh than you are off Dodd, don't you think? I, I think so, although Dodd throughout this whole match has not passed well. He's been very sluggish in his passing. Third sand timeout taken by Welch and Tanner. They're trying to hang on here and relax. We'll take a short break. We're coming right back. 14-10. Don't go away. Did you know the new federal cable TV regulations give you more service options if you have a problem with your cable service? You can either do the repairs yourself or pay someone else. Well, a TCI service technician can repair the problem 
and we will bill you using our hourly service charge. Or you can choose the easiest new alternative. TCI's Inside Wiring Maintenance Program. It's just 49 cents a month. Their known service costs are covered under this plan without additional charge. Just give us a call. We'll take care of the rest. Call TCI Cablevision for complete Inside Wire Maintenance Program details. Look over there! Oh, wow! Check out all the hidden treasure in the Cable Guide. With the Cable Guide, we'll get to the bottom of all the best programs. Like documentaries, specials, and something for the little shrimps. Yep, this is the one made just for cable TV. No more floundering around to find good cable TV shows. Hey, I resemble that remark. Oh, whale of a joke. Subscribe to the Cable Guide by calling the number on your screen and have an entire month of cable TV listings at your fins. Uh, fingers. Uh, hey, Gil, what's this TV thing? It takes more than just power. You gotta have nerve, drive, and net. You gotta have the touch. The Italian Open Finals, Sunday at 6 on HSE. 11 serving 14. Dodd and Whitmarsh trying to complete a, an improbable comeback from 10 1 down. Chris Marlowe, John Stevenson, yeah, the Nest Hay West, Dallas Open. West, West, West Welch and Tanner got out big, but they have been slowing down. Definitely slowing down. They need to pull out one big play here, get to their first final ever. So Welch, the fourth game point, trying to wrap up semifinal. Welch, out of bounds. Pressure definitely on now. Welch and Tanner a little tight. They're going to need a break here to help them out. Need a lucky play, a little phantom dig. Some kind of a plum, a backwards flipper. Maybe a facial or two. Now, Whitmarsh stalking Welch. Dodd has the dig. And Dodd puts it away. Still, according to our stats, two full timeouts remaining for Tanner and Welch. Not sure why they're saving them. Let's see. It's 12-14. Welch has got to get it by. Dink. Tanner, good set. Oh, Dodd has it up. Unbelievable. And he kills it. A back-breaking dig by Dodd. Dodd, in my opinion, probably the, the most clutch digger on the tour. He always has been. I remember a dig he made in Clearwater, Florida. Reminiscent of that. That's a big play. Now, if you're Tanner and Welch, what are you thinking? They've, they've got to come out and just bang the ball. That's, that's, the, only, that's the only thing they have to do. Is that what you would tell Wes Welch? Because the ball is going to go to Welch. One more time, the ball is going to go to Welch. I think what he's got to do is time, take a nice, relaxed approach, but come hard, come to hit. Because the shots are not going down. Whitmarsh having to work hard in this one. Still on the agenda. Nice. No and the Unbelievable dig by Dodd. Ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to... And a great transition set. Whitmarsh, that's a really tough set to make. Perfect height. Luckily, Mike Dodd at his height at 6'4", able to come in and put some steam on that. The clock is not a factor. Over three minutes to go. This is the biggest side out of... Both Tanner and Welch's volleyball career so far. Welch and Tanner, they need a side out to have a chance here. And getting it is Wes Welch. So for the fifth time, Welch and Tanner have game points. Where did their lead go? Up 10-1 at one point. Tanner and Welch have been serving Dodd. Let's see if they go back to Whitmarsh here. They do. Whitmarsh is confident. Whitmarsh snaps it. Whitmarsh cleared his path at the net. Dodd set to serve it. 13-14. Dodd Whitmarsh down by one. Beautiful. We've had some questions on the mailbag. Are you allowed to set the ball back over your head into the open court? If you can do it like that, yes. As long as you got the huevos to do it 14 yeah. 15, and you can set it with those men directly behind you, you can get away with it. And Dodd is complaining, but that was about as perfect as you could do that play, I think. No complaints there. That was a perfectly executed back set. Unbelievable time to do it, too. Welch for... The sixth time looking for the match. He can't get it over. Talk a little about the inconsistency. It's 
Now Dodd and Whitmarsh trying to apply the pressure. Welch got it. Wow. Right over Whitmarsh. That is a big hit. Going through the twin tower arms to block Whitmarsh. I can't tell if that was a, a field goal or actually over him, but he hit that thing at about 11 feet. If you play hit. beach volleyball, you know what Tanner's thinking. How do we get a point? We need a lucky break, maybe. Good night. Try Whitmarsh for the game. Tanner has the dig. It's back over. Whitmarsh stumbling. Dodd. Doug is up, and it's going out of bounds. So it was dug up, but out of bounds. Whitmarsh and Dodd. Hang it, it happens. That, that's what I was saying earlier. Even though these are both relatively inexperienced players, I think Tanner has got to be the guy. He's been in tighter matches. He's gone further in tournaments throughout this year. He's got to be the guy that makes the play. Once again, it's a one-point lead. Tanner. And he's blocked. And we're tied up. Fourteen, fourteen. You have to win by two. One timeout remaining. And Dodd is saying, "Listen, uh, why don't you blow the whistle? <laughs> why don't you blow the whistle? Explain the rule on that." Well, I, I think what Mike's upset about is that all all four players were ready to play. He wanted to keep the momentum and right. get that ball in play immediately. And, uh, and referee Butch Martin did not blow the whistle in time. Dodd serving to take the lead. Welch, Dodd spears it up. Tanner, cut. Nicely done. Cuts up to the right side by 14-14. Tension strung tight here on center court. West Wells back to serve. Situation changed a lot now with, as opposed to having one one point to win the match. Now you're deuce and you're really, after giving up that big lead, it's really tough. Whitmarsh. Whitmarsh. The ninth kill for Whitmarsh. Dodd getting most of the work has 15. Welch, high cap shot. Pretty nice shot there by Welch, huh? Really reaching on his head. A couple of the out hits, the unforced errors, a couple of the out jumps. He really tightened up and dropped his arm a little bit. But the last few plays, though, he's been hitting the ball nice high and hard. 14 all. Semi-final. Karch and Kenner next. Hello. And the jump serve is wide by Tanner. Karch and Kent, after receiving the beneficiaries of a forfeit this morning, have got to be loving this. They hardly played at all today. They're just waiting. Here comes Dodd with the serve. Going cross court, looking for Tanner this time. And Tanner buries it cross court. Take a short break, coming back. Takati beer and new Takati light. It's the tea thing. So come on, everybody. The Bowflex Power Pro outperforms Solaflex and Nordic Flex, and we can show you how. Call this toll-free number now, and we'll send our head-to-head -head comparison video absolutely free. You'll see why the Bowflex cable pulley system can give you better results in Soloflex or Nordicflex. You'll see how your workouts with Bowflex can be 27% faster than Nordicflex and 46% faster than Soloflex. Bowflex is more versatile. It comes with a lifetime warranty, and it's simply a better value for you. Sound interesting? Call now, and you'll also receive this fact-filled brochure that details the quality, performance, and convenience that only Bowflex can deliver. Go ahead. Call and make your own comparison. The time and money you save will be worth it. 
The Nestle Dallas Open 14-14 and another jump serve out of bounds. That's the one I was talking about. He tightens up a little bit, drops his head, drops his shoulder a little bit, and it goes long. Fifth service error for Welch. Also had a couple of aces early. Darren Welch trying to hang on, maybe get back to the good side. That would help him. Welch, and Welch hits hard. So both teams siding out now, getting possession. As Tanner will serve. How about a float serve here, man? Jump serve's not working. Maybe a shorty. Change it up somehow. I mean, they've got to do, they really have to do something. I'd maybe serve Mike Dodd short. Tanner's going to attack from the middle this time. Not a bad idea. Whitmarsh, perfect pass. Great set. And Whitmarsh boobs it. Off Tanner into the crowd. Ricketts off the block of Welsh and the Dickinson fights. Wes Welch has received 5 10. 26 serves today. This is the bat turned in the battle of the Giants now. The big guys are just banging away. Tanner. And a good look there. Dodd moving into the angle. Tanner. What kind of a play could you run if you're Tanner and Welch? What could you do? Right now, what I would probably do, considering Whitmarsh is hitting the ball really high and hard, they're not blocking him with any success. I'd serve the ball do to Dodge short uh -huh. and try to jockey it behind the block a little bit, goad him into hitting a cut shot. That's right. what I would try. And Dodge smokes one. Big, big the right side by Mike Dodd. Now it's, t it's tough to set up a play like that when you go for the jump serve and Mike Dodge passes off and he's got a running approach. You really can't execute that play. Whitmarsh serving. We're tied at 14, minute 48 to go. Maybe the clock will come into being. Tanner up high, Gauss oh, come in. Oh, Who touched it? Both teams say the other guy touched it. Spike off the block. You know, Whitmarsh might have touched that first. It, it looked like to me that Whitmarsh got his hands on it first. Side Welsh out. went up and hit it and then hit it off of Whitmarsh's hands out of bounds. So they roll it off Whitmarsh. Tanner once again will serve. Good. Looking on Whit. Hurry, hurry, line. Come on. Tanner, no! Boy, they got the play they wanted. You've got to capitalize on a broken play like that. That's where Wes's inexperience does not, it does not help that team. Especially at this point of a game. You get an opportunity like that, you got to cash in. 14 all, minute 36 to play. Semi-final action. Points were scored quickly early. Out of bounds! Wow, Dodd thought he had it at the corner. No, just out. Just out. Can't really tell. If you're West Welch, what you want to do is get your left foot on that line, on the sideline. Anything outside of your left shoulder, outside of your left knee is out of bounds. West Welch serving. Boy, would he love to get an ace right now. No, he just misses. Service error is mounting up. That's six for Welch. Tanner has three, total of nine. Six, the six for Welch have come all at the, the tail end of this match, too. Whitmarsh with his version of the jumper. Welch. Johnny Stevenson of a little tapping down there. Yeah, right. Floor. Maybe a little bit more Bergman than Stevenson, yeah. but... Side out duel continues here on center. Here's Henry Bergman, the famous player of yesteryear out of Santa Barbara, the team for so many years with Ron Von Hagen. Tanner with the serve. Whitmarsh, Dink, Welch is on it. Chance for a point, Tanner! Got it! Troy Tanner and Wes Welch making a play, and they take the lead by one. Tanner taking matters into his own hands there. He could have set the ball up That's a good play, I think. Yeah, I think a smart play. Welch was a little uh, stumbly there. Welch was discombobulated, getting up. He made a great play, at picking it up off the tape. Timeout taken by Dodd and Whitmarsh. A minute 16 remaining. 15-14 is our score. Welch and Tanner got out big, led 11-1, 10-1 I should say, 11-4, but Dodd Whitmarsh came back, came back to tie it up at 14, Tanner and Welch have just gone ahead yeah. on the strength of a beautiful Welch dig. Now Tanner, for the eighth time, they had seven game points while they were at 14 earlier for the game, Tanner. 
Oh, he digs it up. Dodd blocks out of bounds. Oh, my. Dodd and Whitbar still alive. God. One of the best semifinals we have had Look at this. time in a while. Welch at, Welch at 6 4 turns and gets up on the block really quickly. After you see the ball off the block, you just sit and hope it drops in. Dodd's lollipop serve goes long. A minute seven to play. So theoretically, if Don Whitmarsh were to score one more, they would switch sides. Welch and Tanner would be back on the good side, so called good side. Witness dropped a lot here. Welch. Number nine. Oh, and that will do it. Welch and Tanner in the finals for the first time ever. A round of applause for both teams. The best match of the weekend. And it's Welch and Tanner. Tanner and Welch. Kind of sounds like Starsky and Hutch. And they do it. They will go up now against Karch Karai and Ken Steffes. Dallas. We're coming back. We'll have more from well, Dallas, Texas, Texas after this. Hey guys, farm report. Ah. <laughs> Surfing championships. Yeah. Let's, Let's watch both. Miller Lite presents ah. Cowabunga. Serves up. Come on, guys. And so is Bessie. She's not just what flies now, Bob. Brought to you by Miller Lite. If you can combine great taste and less filling, you can combine anything. She's riding this one all the way back to Wisconsin. What a cow! What a beer. Great taste, less filling. Can your beer do this? Why go to the beach? Just to get beached. <laughs> Into the pure, clean taste. Why don't you get a little bit wet? Punch in to nasty. Punch in to nasty. Punch in. Common courtesy. It's coming back. Take the collect calls. Instead of zero, now you can dial 1 800 collect. Save the people you call up 44%. Question Who is the fossil that is still going to dial zero? Hey, dude, I could have saved you some cash on this call, but what do I care? We're getting the band back together. Hey, Slick, you could have spoken for a lot less by dialing 1-800-CLECT. Even to Seattle? Thanks, phone dude. Mitchell Salon Hair Care, cruelty free by the real Paul Mitchell and Salon only. By 1-800-COLLECT, America's inexpensive way to call, collect, use it every time you make a long distance call. By Kellaloo Performance Sunglasses by Bausch and Long, tested by athletes, not machines. By Southwest Airlines and Just Plain Smart. By Nestle, why get just a little bit wet? Plunge into Nestle. Back at the Nestle Dallas Open, a thrilling semifinal one by the sparkling team of Troy Tanner and Wes Welch. They are standing by on the sand with John Stevenson. Congratulations, guys. Troy, you're up 11-1 in Jacksonville against, against Stoklos and Johnson. What was happening? What was going through your mind when the league started to slip well, away there? I'd be lying to you if I didn't start thinking about Jacksonville. But, um, you know, you just got to let that go and come out and play. Your first final for both of you ever on the AVP tour. What were you feeling like when you, you, you when they tied you up at 14 all? What, what was going through your mind? Well, uh, just play my hardest. Uh, pass and set was the most important thing, and then uh, don't be shooting the ball. Be hitting as hard as I can because that's my game. And just happy to be here right now in the finals. Great. How are you guys going to play Karch and Kent? They've played one match today. Right. They got the bye. They're well rested. Their one match, they won 12 to three kind of a walkover. You guys, how do you feel, first of all, 
Uh, I feel great at the end of these matches, but then when you have 20 minutes to rest and then get warmed up again, it's a little hard getting it going. But um, by the end of this match, you know, I was feeling great, so I just got to get there quicker and come out and play. You guys, you guys look physically, you look really good. Str strategically speaking, how are you going to play against Garch and Ken? I would say uh, our best game is a jump serve and for points. We'll probably need a four or five jump serve aces against them, and or, or aces any kind we can get. And uh, and then the side out against them. Yeah, just keep the pressure on them, and then good things happen. All right. Well, good luck to you guys. Thanks. Right, Congratulations. I want to say Happy Mother's Day. This is the best present I ever gave my yeah. mom. <laughs> Back to you, Chris. All right, Welch and Tanner. We will see them in our final against Karchkarai and Kent Stephens. Okay, we're in between matches. You know what time it is. Answer your cards and letters, your kudos and criticisms. Let's get to it with the mailbag presented by John Paul Mitchell, Salon Hair Care. Mike Whitmarsh, he's big, he's handsome, but he is not the subject of the beach bag today. Superstar Brian Lewis, are you ready? I'm ready. First question, Jeffrey Beauregard, Salem, Massachusetts, wants to know, get a lot of questions and comments, why is there no tournament in Cape Cod this year? Tell them. TV and sponsors. Would you like if to go back to Cape me, Cod? I would love to go back to Cape Cod. I love the site. I love Boston, the city. All right. We apologize to Cape Cod. We love you up there. Now, next question. Jim Miller, Arlington, Texas. He is handicapped. He's in a wheelchair. He's coming to Texas. What should he do? Now, I know there is an area for handicapped at all beach volleyball tournaments. What else? Well, Jim, if I was you, if you're watching the show, I would call the AVP and let them know that you're coming, and they could set some special people, you know, maybe meet you at the hotel, and if there's priority C, they could pick you up and carry you and put you right down, right where you want to be. All right, so he calls the AVP tour and uh, hotline information, gets a priority seat. Tell them you're handicapped, Jim, and they will take care of you. All right, next question, Robert Keep from Loveland, Colorado. What about the tattoos, Louie? Are they real? They're not real, thing? but they are as sweet as the juice that they come from, Kern's nectar. Okay, now this is a promotional thing. Do you have them in this any, is, this any is other one parts of, my, of your body? This is one of my sponsors right here, along with Brian and BB Rags and okay, Killer. So you got to get them on. Yeah. How much do you get for wearing one of these things? G money. No, seriously, how much? Big money. Do you get like 50 grand? Oh, huge. All right, he's not going to tell us. More than your grand. Okay, Daryl Nash, Winchester, Massachusetts. I heard some AVP players comparing dinner plans with you announcers and various other AVP crew people. Do the players and non-players hang out together? No. Do you hang out with, like, Paul Sunderland in Hollywood? Why? Well, I don't know, just to get some information. <laughs> Wrong. And do you ever There's worry no about saying something in front of an announcer that he will repeat on the air like me? Why would I care about that? Well, Chris? you got mad one time. I, you said I called you a midget on Yeah, you did. I, <laughs> I didn't care. Did I still owe him a steak dinner. All right, Brian Lewis, uh, thank you very much. The Beach Bag will send your uh, T-shirt. It's coming in the mail. All right, our thanks to Brian Lewis. Once again, if you want to participate, the Beach Volleyball Bag, 10,000 Santa Monica Boulevard. Of course, Kara Prime ticket, Los Angeles, California, 90067. Name, address, shirt size. Please include your telephone number. Sometimes I can't answer the question on the air. I'll give you a call, and I'll let you know what we think. Okay, we're coming back. More ABP Volleyball Action after this. <laughs> Play. Hot. Thirst. Quench it. Quench it. Gatorade Thirst Quench. The optimal formula to quench it now. Absorb faster than water. Guzzle it. Nothing's more effective when you've got a big thirst. Only one way to quench it. Gatorade Thirst Quench. Scientifically tested. Athletically proven. Nothing works better than Gatorade Thirst Quench. For that deep down body thirst. <laughs> Flying Southwest Airlines for the lowest fares. Our planes are painted kind of funny, but they're the best birds in the air. It's time to finish all your drinks up. We're arriving at the gate on time. Be sure to keep your seatbelts fastened or we'll ask you to step outside. Just a reminder that you can fly Southwest Airlines for a song. <laughs> that is free-flowing, like the sea, living in harmony with light, dancing in its shadows. Fit, vibrant hair, nourished and cared for by the elements of our earth. 
This is Paul Mitchell here. Remember, buy the real Paul Mitchell products in salons only. Okay, guys, baseball or bass fishing? Baseball. baseball. Bass fishing. Hey, guys, watch this. Miller Lite presents professional basketball. Oh! Watson calls for a fresh bass. There's the windup and the fish. It's a high fly bass. Brought to you by Miller Lite. If you can combine great taste and less spelling, you can combine anything. Here comes a play at the plate. You're out. In between matches, getting ready for our final West Welch, Troy Tanner against the kings of the beach, Kurt Skarai, Ken Steffes. Could it happen? Well, we have a moment. Let's take a look around Dallas and the fun camp presented by Southwest Airlines. Yes, fun, 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 fun. Presented by Southwest Airlines. A little look around this city of Dallas, Texas. Ticket and tour information. If you want a priority seat, you can call 1 800 793 Tour. 1 800 793 Tour. Tell them Chris Marlowe sent you and see what that does for you. All right. Last week, we had a profile of one of the greats of all time, Sinjin Smith. This week, his former partner, the King of the Kong, yes, Stokey, is coming at you. Randy Stoklos will go down in beach volleyball history as one of the all-time greats. Uh oh look out, look out! In the late 70s, when Stokey first got his start, things were a little bit different. I never dreamed that I would be playing uh, volleyball for a living, but when I played in 1976 in the world first world championship and I lost two straight, I had this feeling about being a part of the sport for the rest of my life, and I think that all was due to me being out on the court. It was like my stage, and I was the act, and that I could do anything I wanted, and then those people re would respond. I started where, you know, there was no prize money, and, uh, you know, coming to the point where I was the first guy to make a million dollars and really truly be one of the stars in the sport. You know, any athlete wants to get to that point, and, uh, you know, when you do and you uh, attain that, that goal, there's something special about it. Sinjin and I were so successful because, uh, you know, 11 years partnership and uh, basically us really kind of putting together the style of defense that we did, me blocking and Sinjin digging. We were, uh, you know, a team that could score points, and when you could do that, you're winning games. You know, it's funny. People think that I'm a pretty tough guy out there on the court, but when I'm, uh, you know, away from the court, I'm as normal as anybody else and probably just what you call a big teddy bear. You know, uh, I enjoy a lot of different sports. I like to play golf. I like to surf. I like to, you know, deal with my horses up on the ranch. Um, I'm very normal, and, uh, you know, I think that everybody has that illusion that, uh, you know, I'm the, the tough guy out there and that uh, I must be a lot like I am on the court. But, you know, volleyball is a business, and I treat it very much so. Yeah, I like playing golf any chance I can. I wish I could go, you know, to the senior tour someday, but, you know, we're a little ways off. I love getting out and getting my nature. Carrie's one of the, the you know, the, the people that I would have ever hoped to have met and, and I did meet. I mean, she's uh, the lady of my, my dreams, you know. I'll, I'll be with her for the rest of my life and 
you know, a super find. I don't think my life has changed all that much. In fact, uh, that's one of the nicest things in marrying Carrie, that my life hasn't changed. You hear that you get, you know, to know a person and you, and you grow with a person and sometimes things change. It hasn't happened to me yet and I, I don't foresee it happening. You know, I was a beach volleyball player before I met her and I still am one now. I still, my goals are still the same except for, you know, the family, you know, things of, you know, having children and, and growing with each other. And uh, that's something that we're looking forward to having in the next couple of years. I'm uh, an athlete that has an opportunity to play outdoors in a setting that, you know, basically everybody wants to do, go down on the beach. And uh, uh, not only monetarily, but physically, I've, you know, uh, I've made myself and my life into a way that uh, I wouldn't trade for anything in the world. And if I had to do it over again, I'd be a beach volleyball player.